why have the last 24 hours been like you named uh, second team Big East and all of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a blessing uh, getting to see me and my teammates just being being able to achieve those type of things, having three guys on there and just being able to jump into the second Second seed in the Big East, which has probably been the most important to me, just the team success and hopefully being able to go on and win this Big East tournament is what we're most worried about right now. So, How would you sum up uh, the weekend in the like, uh, It could have been really bad, but it turned out to be really good. Uh, how would you give it an overall? Uh, I mean, I, I would say that I started that I started off the game pretty well uh, with eight straight points, and then kind of from there I was missing shots that I usually make. Felt good, and then uh, – had we we kind of slipped up in terms of them them switching up switching up a couple of things on their offensive end and they kind of adjusted pretty well to our defensive scheme after we went on our initial run so I think uh, kudos to to them for being able to make that type of adjustment and then uh, we kind of came down to the to the straight in, in the stretch of the game and I kind of did a dump made a dumb foul and then was able to make up with it for with the uh, with the big like, shot. Yeah, what's that like? For you? like through your mind and practice all the time, but they actually do it in game. What kind of feeling is that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's great. Uh, just, I mean, at first I was more worried about the, the stupid foul that I had on the other end until uh, until the play was called for me. So uh, it was just something that I knew that I, like I like I said, I knew I was going to shoot that that shot, like depending on the way that he was he was guarding me. But uh, it's just, it was just a blessing to be able to be put in that type of situation and be able to, to make up for something that I did from earlier. This week will be a decade since the program's first trip to New York for the Big East tournament. What would it mean to, to win one? Uh, it'd be great uh, for me. This would be uh, if we make it to the championships my second time out of three years, and I think that uh, it would be big just to get there and win it. Uh, I think that it would be great for our confidence and for the way that we want things to be going rolling into March and into the NCAA tournament. I think that it would be giving us a great seeding. So, I, I mean, if we can win this, that would be big for us, and I also think it would be big for the, team, the team's camaraderie. So. Now you mentioned you made a comment about Cork winning defensive player of the year and kind of what goes through your head. Why do you think uh, the opposing coaches uh, and everybody has such respect for him? Uh, I think you have to game plan for somebody like that. I think uh, there's not many players in the country that you have to game plan for when you're on offense. And I think that uh, Ryan Cockburn is, is one of one of few, and I think that he does a great job at timing blocks, a great job at not jumping when people pump fake, but being able to time it when they actually do leave their feet. And I think he, he's getting even better at moving his feet when we switch. So I think that it's, it's going to be very scary for whether he ends up on the NBA roster next year or back here for anybody that has to be switched back on to him. And uh, Lord forbid he wins it four, four times in a row if he comes back. <laughs> Uh, I think number one is because of the Madden, Madison Square Garden. I think it's the best arena in the country, in the world, in my opinion. I think that it's something that uh, only you could dream of, kids dream of playing in that type of arena and with that type of atmosphere. And I think that the Big East Conference this year is, is the best conference in the, in the country, and I think that that's big for just the Big East as a whole. But, I mean, to play in that type of tournament and to have just those type of teams in it, I think it's a blessing for everybody, and I think that uh, for those teams that are kind of in the bubble area, I think it gives them gives them that, you know, that that win or go home type of mentality, and it makes it even makes the stakes even higher for everybody else. So. Some say, some say that Ryan, that uh, Baylor Shriver deserves Big East Player of the Year. What do you like most about Baylor? What do you bring to the court? Uh, I think he brings everything. I think he's a Swiss Army knife. I think he can score, pass, rebound. I think there's nothing that Baylor can't do on the court. Uh, I th if if you ask me, of course, I think he should win uh, Big East Player of the Year. Just because, not not just because he's my teammate, but because I think that's what the s statistics show, and I think that's what he uh, just being a part of his journey. It, it shows that he's been been an everyday type of guy, an every night type of guy. So yes, I do think Baylor Shireman should should win Big East Player of the Year. Trey, this is the first time we're talking to you since Coach Max contract extension was announced. So what were the thoughts in the locker room when you heard that news and just hearing that uh, being on the hot? Uh, obviously, it's big for the guys that have that have committed to Creighton. I think that it it just keeps Omaha in safe hands. I think that uh, years after we're gone, I think that Omaha will still be uh, where it's at. And I think that the Creighton Creighton basketball program will still continue to reach new heights uh, with somebody at the helm like uh, Coach McDermott. And I think that uh, there's even better things to come with the future because we're just getting going. So. What's it mean to be the uh, it's a big honor. You know, I take pride in the defensive side of the ball and kind of being the anchor on the defense for this team. So it's always really cool to get some recognition. So now that 
Got that, got that out of the way. Got to go in a Biggie's tournament. Now, you're, you're probably too young to have watched the back of you and her all morning, but what do you know of those guys now that you're in the same breath as those players? Uh, I just know they're really great players, and it's kind of crazy, and now I'm in the same category as them. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's just something, that's a little cool thing about it. How's it feel to dunk on two players at one time? Like you <laughs> I was just trying to get up quick. As soon as I caught the ball, I knew people were coming. So I was like, I keep it high and got to jump fast. Otherwise, they're going to get this. What would it mean to go to I and play the same thing a decade since the program first trip? What would it mean to come back with a big tournament? I mean, it would mean a lot. Like, my first two years, we made the final. Last year, we made the semifinal. So just being that close to it makes you win it a lot more. Uh, so, yeah, it would mean a lot. Uh, he's just good at everything. I mean, he's a shooter, finishes at the rim, really good passer, good defender. He just does everything. And then, especially his scoring lately has been crazy. So I think he's definitely one of the best players in the conference and definitely deserves to be in that conversation, if not winning it this year. Uh, I mean, the number one is at Madison Square Garden, which is an awesome environment. I mean, the amount of amazing games that have been played there and just all professional sports and college sports is awesome. So just getting to play in that environment is, is really special. What do you guys need to do to make sure your second trip to MSG goes a little bit better than the first? Just come up with a good game plan and execute that game plan. That's just kind of how it goes for any game. So uh, we'll trust whatever game plan the coaches put in front of us and then we'll go out there and do our best to execute it. And I think if we do that, then we'll be pretty just fine. I asked Trey the same. Sorry, I asked uh, Trey the same question. But first time we're talking since coach's contract extension yeah. was announced. What was the mood like in the locker room when that news was public, and what's your feeling that he's going to be locked down here in Omaha? Uh, I mean, it's not really surprising. He's done a great, great job here building this program from Missouri Valley, and now one of the top programs in the country. So, I mean. It, I would have been shocked if he'd be anywhere else. I mean, I think he's probably going to finish his career here. So it's awesome to know he's just going to be around for a long time. So yeah, he, he definitely deserves it. How much of this week is about his double tournament season? As much as it is winning the Big East? Um, you know, Big East tournament, as important as hard as that's going to be, I don't think I really thought much about NCAA and tournament. Obviously, you go in there, win some games, is going to be huge for your seating. But, uh, I think you try to take care of what's in front of you first, and then with that kind of mindset, it kind of helps what's after that. Go ahead with questions. So, Ryan getting defensive uh, player of the year, that's pretty awesome. And now he's in the camp conversation, you and Morning, that's amazing. It's incredible. I, I, uh, I sent the release to him and his mom this morning and said exactly that. It's just, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, to play at the level that he's played as consistently as he's played. Uh, for three straight years is it's awesome and uh, you know I'm, I'm glad that uh, you know my peers in the league think as much of him defensively as I do yeah yeah uh, I mean it's it's hard to get three guys on a on an all-conference team like that uh, in a league as good as ours so again uh, I think I think that my fellow coaches in the league recognize you know how important they are to our success and uh, uh, they're, they're all very deserving, and uh, you know, I'm glad they were rewarded for a great year. It was a way the game ended uh, the other day. I mean, it could have been very bad. Instead, it's very good. I mean, you learn from every game. You know, we did some things incredibly well the first 10, 12 minutes of that game, um, and then we didn't do some things very well for the next 15 or 20 minutes of the game. Uh, but. You know, we stuck with it, and, and you know, Trey made a huge play. We were probably due for one of those. Um, you know, we had the ball at the end of the Villanova game to start. We had a couple chances, had it at the end of the Butler game. Um, and, uh, you know, we were due for one of those to go our way. So he made a big-time shot, and it's you know, a shot that he's practiced a thousand times. It's, uh, it's easier to say when you come out on the positive one of those late games, but to have some of those reps on how beneficial yeah, I mean, the film will be great today because there's there's some mistakes we made late that we have to clean up. Um, 
obviously we still, you know, the the uh, Justin Moore, Eric Dixon two-man game was, you know, it's hard for anybody to solve, but obviously it gave us problems after the first 10 minutes of the game. Um, so, you know, we at least we won't have to see them again until maybe the championship game if we both make it there. But, uh, you know, winning at a place like Villanova is very hard to do, and especially with what they had on the line. Uh, we knew they weren't going to quit, and they didn't. They made a heck of a run, and you know, fortunately, we made one more play. Zach, what, what would be your case to, to the coaches in the league if you had been able to talk to them before? You know, I, I, I'm probably of the belief that you know the player of the year probably needs to go to the someone on the team that won the league. Uh, so I don't, I don't know who's going to win it, but. Uh, you know, that's that's probably the way I would think. Baylor's had a heck of a year, and he's statistically, you know, one of the better seasons of any Creighton player in our history. So, uh, you know, he's he was deserving. You know, he was unanimous on the first team, which he deserved. Um, but, you know, I don't, think, I don't think Baylor cares much about the player of the year stuff, and uh, which doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I mean, Georgetown's playing better. Uh, you know, they really they took St. John's to the wire in the garden uh, last weekend. And, uh, you know, they know each other really well. Obviously, Ed coached all those guys, a lot of those guys at Providence. And the two games they played were relatively competitive. Uh, but we had two really good games with Providence. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad we're resting for a day, waiting for that game. Two more. Is our first time to have you since the contract was announced? No, I'm ex I'm excited. Uh, you know, I've, I've said before, this is where I want to finish my career. I've said that many times over the course of the years, and you know, any any time uh, you know you're negotiating contracts, you know, there's two sides to it, right? There's things that I want, there's things that the university wants, and you know, fortunately, we are we able, we're able to come to an agreement that I think's you know very fa fair for both parties. What about the, the garden? What makes it so special? <laughs> Yeah, I mean the crowd's great. I mean it, the Wednesday night crowds are great. I mean, let alone you know quarterfinal Thursday and semifinal Friday. Um, but it's you know it's just the place is massive and it's uh, like I've said before, it's got it's got that junior high uh, the play that you have to be part of in junior high, even though you don't want to be part of a play, but you have to do it for the experience. Uh, you know where the crowd is dark. You know it's dark in the crowd, and you're, it's all lit up on stage, and you can't really see anybody. That's kind of what it's like playing in the garden. You feel like you're, uh, you know, out on this massive island in this in this huge place. Uh, and the acoustics are incredible. You know, it's it's so loud in there, and it's uh, it's a terrific experience for our guys.